Look at that, 2,000. Are you kidding me? So today we're gonna be constructing a organic polymer farm and it's gonna be automatic using this beauty right here. We got this uh, moss chops a little while ago. It's like completely mutated and everything. And I can't remember what stats it has mutations in, but that's not really important because we have completely leveled it its harvesting uh, ability into organic polymer harvesting. So this thing is just gonna eat baby penguins for the rest of his life because we're gonna have a bunch of penguins in here breeding constantly, pooping at the eggs, and then they're gonna hatch and then this guy's gonna eat the babies, much like this farm right here. So we actually made this a little while ago, but I didn't actually make this building and everything all set up like this until just today. Uh, <laughs> It was kind of a mess, to be honest. We had it down here and they were pooping the eggs down into a hole and it just wasn't working out very well. So I decided, hey, we're just gonna make it a little bit more simplified, have it as just a room. They're constantly breeding and they are constantly pooping at the eggs. As you can see, they're pooping at some eggs right here. These are gonna hatch up in a second. And that saber over there, Dexter, he's named after one of my cats. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and immediately try to eat them though unfortunately if he does eat them right away I think it doesn't really count and he doesn't get resources so I don't know that's kind of something I'm gonna have to work out maybe I could do that by spacing out the raptors a little bit more but um yeah this is our little orga or not organic uh, this is our little element dust and electronics farm and it's working out pretty good so far um yeah just go ahead and grab that stuff and chuck it downstairs so yeah this is like the third little tower that we have going um so over in this area god it's so laggy here i need to take the paint off of that glass i feel like that's what's making it extra laggy but uh that's all for another day so this is our third little tower we have this one here which is the gotcha gavager tower so tons of gotchas in there we have over there where we have our kibble down the bottom and then we have our crops up the top and this one here is kind of like the livestock um farming tower and right here we have some uh dedicated storage now this is the s plus one which is quite nice it's actually dedicated storage was an s plus original idea and uh they added it into arc obviously just earlier on the year and i'm pretty sure people love it but um the s plus one actually has this intake so i can just come up to this and just deposit it instead of having to go up to every single one of these and drop all my stuff in but um yeah it's pretty nice so we've got one for organic polymer we're probably gonna have to have one here for hide as well um and then obviously all these four resources come from the element dust floor with the rafters so yeah pretty amazing let's go ahead and see do you have anything else no it's really unfortunate if he eats the babies immediately like that so i don't know maybe there's a way around that Probably not. I'm probably going to have to space out the raptors more, maybe add more raptors. That way we're going to have more chance of him not eating a baby because he's trying to eat a different one. I don't know. We'll see. But we've only got six raptors in here. So, so far, it's been pretty efficient. But in the last few minutes, it just seems like he's eating them straight away. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did he get resources that time? He got a little bit from that one. All right, cool. And a ton of prime as well, which is great, but... I don't really need the prime. I don't use that stuff anymore. So guys, make sure they hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. We're gonna set up this floor with penguins and um, oh my God, it's so laggy. <laughs> it's just so, so laggy. I've got penguins breeding down here in the cave below my base. Um, these are the penguins that we tamed over on the island. And uh, I actually went ahead and hatched up a bunch of eggs and got perfect uh pairs and everything but unfortunately i couldn't have them constantly breeding because the eggs were just hatching up so we're gonna go ahead and just enable mating i think i do have a few eggs i think i probably showed this off just a little bit during the frog breeding video uh, we actually still have a frog egg let's go ahead and eat that um let me see so i want to actually get some mutations on penguins i know that sounds weird but i i just we're gonna need one for the um for the museum so i just figured we'd go ahead and actually just try to get some nice colors and stuff on that so if we see a 286 that means it's mutated and none of these right now are mutated it probably would have been a really smart idea for me to bring my moss chops down here to harvest them up but i did not so we'll go ahead and maybe grab them after we'll see but uh we do get a little bit of organic polymer with the barry so it's not too bad 
Yeah, we got like 11 there. Cool. Alrighty. Well, um, we'll be back in a little bit once we have more penguin eggs. We might just move the penguins into there because they just keep hatching. Like, I think the penguins actually act as like little aircons anyway. So they just seem to be hatching their eggs, even though the temperature may not be perfect in the area. So yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, no, no, no. We need to come back because you guys need to see this. I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> you can do the super punch while holding a penguin. Look at this. It kind of looks a little bit wrong the way that we're bent over. Never mind. Um, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous looking. Wait, watch. Boom, penguin. Oh, wait, we didn't do it. Penguin punch. <laughs> That's awesome. I did not realize that was a thing. That is so cool, though. Um, so actually recently we did a video on some funny arc glitches and bugs and stuff and there's a pretty funny one with the penguins in that video if you want to go check that one out. Um, <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that because I had a lot of fun recording that one and the penguin specifically fits into it perfectly and just has this really hilarious thing. So yeah, check out that video. But anyway, I'm going to get on with what I was going to do. I was just going to move them all in here and have them breed in here instead because they're just hatching out the babies and that's no point of actually trying to uh collect the eggs or whatever so yeah we'll be back later okay so it's only a few minutes later and we've already got our first color mutation which is what we're looking for mainly here today not really the stats but uh as you can see it is the red and um i actually i didn't even realize but we're we're actually rocking some blue feet and like a little blue bit on the head as well so that's pretty cool but um as soon as I saw it was a, a 286, I was like, oh, cool, blue feet. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm so dumb because they've already had blue feet. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and feed this thingy. Um, do they they eat this, right? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let this thing grow up. And we're just going to probably throw it back into the mix. Uh, basically, we're, we're not looking to stack mutations. We're just looking to combine with some cool colors. I've looked it up penguins have four regions um so one of them is the beak one of them is uh the feet and i think the main body is another one and i think the feet share that bit on the head so yeah um that's the four of them right there so it's pretty cool anyway we'll be back in a bit but look at these little things they're so cute looking <laughs> i actually fun fact um well not really a fact but more of just a thing um, penguins are like my, my favorite creature on earth and they are so awesome. I love having penguins in Ark. I kind of want just an army of them. We could do that at some point, by the way, because penguins are actually pretty vicious. So maybe we could take them into like the squid area and just have like a hundred penguins fight like, a bunch of squids or something. That would actually be pretty fun. We might do that now, actually. We we will probably do that at some point, but I'm going to need to have like some pretty good penguins at that stage. So we're gonna have to level like a hundred of them at least a few times um but anyway yeah we'll be back in a little bit i'm just gonna go ahead and clear up some of these babies hey we've got a double mutation right there so it came out with four extra levels this is a pretty rare occurrence but it can happen let's go ahead and see if i can get them to just come out of here so i can already tell that it's got purple on the head Oh wait, does the head and the feet not have the same... Is that like the, not the same region? I thought it was. They only have four regions. Oh, maybe you can't get anything different than that white. Huh, because the beak is definitely a region. And the feet, and then the red bit I have over there? I don't know. I must be getting kind of confused here. Um, But anyway, yeah, it looks like this one here has like a black beak. And it's got like a purple um bit on the head, whatever you call that. Uh, it looks so derpy looking. Uh, you know what? Actually, here, here's the funniest part about penguins. Wait, look directly at it. And as you can see, the beak isn't even aligned. It's so strange looking. <laughs> like, look. How freaking derpy does that look? And how does that happen? Wild card, what the hell did you do? Who made these penguins? Why are they all deformed? Like, they're not like that when they're fully grown, though, which is the really strange part. Like, that beak lines up perfectly. So, I don't know. That's all weird. But anyway, this one here has a double mutation. Um, can't tell what the stat is. I think it's actually... I think it's got a weight mutation for sure. Does it have a food mutation? No. Definitely doesn't have a health mutation or melee or stam. So, maybe the other mutation is probably in 
the uh, hidden speed stat. Um, or you know what, actually, I think penguins probably have a hidden... If I was to cry apart a penguin, it probably has a hidden um, oxygen stat, so... I don't know. That could be a thing. Let's see. Let's get this thing away from all the others. And I'll just walk it over this way. I love baby penguins. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. All right. So this one here is like mostly grown up at this stage. So we'll probably... Oh, you know what? I don't want to actually walk it just in case it gets an imprint. So we'll just bring it over here. Got a little baby. And we'll bring that other one over when it's fully grown. Um, So, so far in terms of colors, we have the purple... Uh, the black bee could probably be replaced with something, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if we get something on that region. And then obviously we have the red. So purple and red so far. Pretty good. Uh, do we have any more mutations in here? Doesn't look like it. Alrighty. Alright, so we have our penguins up here. I had to quickly just go down to the saber to set it back to aggressive because I accidentally put it on passive. I should probably take it off of group whistles or whatever. But here are the penguins. As you can see, we have the purple and we have the red and then since then we got the little cyan feet and we got a yellow beak actually which looks pretty cool so um yeah i don't believe that the like the white bit there is any region or like that little orangey or not i guess that's kind of it's more like a brown it almost kind of looks like orange down here because it's mixed with the red but yeah the brown right there um i don't think any of that is an actual region so i don't think we can get mutations on that but that's okay these things look pretty amazing anyway, and they're red, which looks crazy. So, um, yeah, we're just breeding them together, and we're going to be raising up any of these ones here. They're not twins, which is why they're two two eights, but that baby just came out as a 286. So, oh, that one's a male. I'm probably not going to need that one, so we'll go ahead and just unclaim it. And then we can use the moss chops on it and see how much polymer we get. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that really quick. Let's put him on aggressive instead of mounting, and... Uh, We'll just see how much he gets us. Going aggressive, buddy. You gonna go eat any of these things? No? Moss chops on aggressive don't really work, do they? <laughs> I, I assume when he gets kind of close, he'll realize that he can attack it. There we... No. Right, let's get him over towards it. Dude, stop. It's too framey for me to try and run around after you. There we go. No? I figure that he might go ahead and attack it eventually. Or maybe not. <laughs> Come on, dude. Go over and eat it. What's wrong with you? Come on. Nope. Yeah, moss chops are weird. I don't... I feel like it's not going to work. It did work before. I've done this, like, before. That was a long time ago. How much did we get from that? We got eight. Okay, that's... Oh, no, we got 12, actually. Uh, that's pretty good for just a baby, um, but that is us being mounted, so that might make a difference. Um, let's go ahead and just put him back onto passive for the moment, and uh, I'll move him over here. Uh, I I'm pretty sure that he will attack it eventually, but it's just kind of weird, because moss chops are naturally just cowards, which is just part of their trait, uh, the way that they were programmed and everything. To be honest, actually... I remember reading the dossier for these guys when they were announced and um yeah i was just like oh great this creature is gonna be kind of useless because i didn't realize about the the special harvesting thing so everybody kind of just assumed that they would be pretty much useless for bringing out and about and you weren't able to ride them back then either so go ahead and check and see if this is any good hey it's a female cool we'll go ahead and raise that one up so yeah, we're just going to have a bunch of penguins here after a while. And once we have a bunch of them together, I will keep the moss chops on aggressive and we'll see how the farm goes. You know what? One more thing I forgot to mention because I, I got the same kind of comments the last time when we did a video like this, when we were setting up the whole raptor thing here. Um, I got a lot of comments of people saying, hey, why don't you just use a chainsaw? And I'm assuming I'm going to get comments of people saying, why don't you just use an ascended club or whatever? Well, the main issue is, is that I want this farm to be automatic. I don't want to have to come over here because that doesn't make it automatic. I need it to be just running in the background when I'm doing other stuff or just AFKing or whatever. I don't know. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's not automatic if I have to come over with a chainsaw or a club or whatever. So one thing I can do if the moss chops doesn't want to, um, doesn't want to eat any babies which he should but if he for some reason doesn't do it we might have to take a look at maybe getting a mantis and giving it some clubs 
Um, though that's not very preferable because if we have that, then we're going to have to constantly come over here and fix clubs, which is just not preferable at all. So I don't know. Hopefully he's going to start eating the babies, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so unfortunately, this is not going to work. The Moss Chops hasn't eaten a single thing. I let it just AFK for a little bit here. And um, as you can see, there's just tons of dead penguins everywhere because obviously they're going to start growing slightly and then starve but um yeah the moss chops hasn't eaten a single thing now what i will say is that going around and doing the sea attack on the moss chops yields incredible results look at that 2000 are you kidding me our gather rates on here are four times okay but that right there is crazy i i mean that's just ridiculous look at this it's so good so manually this farm could be crazy efficient because this isn't even that long like i wasn't even afk for that long we're actually going to check on the organic or why do i keep calling it that we're going to go down and check on the other farm down below just to see how that's doing as well but yeah the moss chops does not want to eat anything now i don't know if there's a way to actually get them to start eating things but we're gonna have to look into a different option. Maybe we're gonna have to get a mantis or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just look up and just see what creature is best to actually start harvesting organic polymer besides the moss chops. Cause like, he's just not gonna eat anything here. He really isn't. Tons of corpses around. I figured, okay, maybe he won't kill the creatures, but at least when he's hungry, he might try and eat some of the corpses. But yeah, I don't know. Like, look at that. Manually, this farm is incredible. Tons and tons of organic polymer um let's check out this one here so obviously the saber is still pretty busy at work let's see okay that's a lot of stuff that is a nice amount of stuff god damn all right that's amazing actually now he's been going for quite some kind blah 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 i can't even speak he's been going for quite some time here uh obviously he's been eating through baby raptors since i was like up there like doing all the penguin stuff i was breeding the penguins raising penguins so he's been working away for quite some time so i'm not really surprised that we got quite a lot of stuff but yeah here's the yield for today then i can't remember what it was at at the very start of the day but in terms of the things from the saber floor um as you can see we're getting more element dust than anything which is nice i mean Element dust is quite nice to get from them. Oh, my tech suit just activated. Oops. I think I like accidentally hit off of the control button and he just started running forward. But um, yeah, we have more element dust, but it's still not even enough to make one element. So that's not really what we're looking too much at uh, out of this farm. It's the electronic. Like that is a huge amount of electronic, which is great. Um, and then obviously we have metal right here. These are the scrap metal uh, like pieces or whatever if you smelt those it's one to one so it's not like i'm gonna get half this amount i'll get 703 ingots out of this which is great and then oil not really too invested in getting a huge amount of oil but i mean whatever we're getting it uh we might as well store it in here too in terms of the organic polymer though this is just crazy we have so much of it and we have a little bit of hide so right here we have stuff to to power a forge we could use the hide and the uh the oil to start making gasoline and then we could uh smelt up the ingots <laughs> that's awesome well anyway uh let's just take a little look at um upstairs again with the moss chops i don't know what what's best i feel like maybe i should keep him here for when i want to come up and get a ton of organic polymer i want this farm to be automatic but i just don't think it's gonna be the way that we have it going right here. The moss chops is not the creature that should be up here. How much did we get from just biting them? Not very much. If you use the sea attack, that's how you get the extra stuff. So we're going to need a different creature up here. And I'm thinking probably Mantis, but I will do a little bit of research and just see what's best. We could get a Therizino. That might be good, actually. Hmm. We do have a Therizino downstairs, so we could probably use that and just check and see if it's good. But yeah, all in all, um kind of disappointed about the moss chops not wanting to eat things but they are cowards naturally so yeah whatever um he's definitely unaggressive though here look eh, come here stay still stop running around stay still there we go as you can see he is unaggressive so i don't know i don't know what else to do 
really nothing else I can do. Ah, alrighty. Well, let's just take another look down here. How are you doing, buddy? Getting some stuff? Oh, wow. Nothing pretty much. All right, great. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to have to look into a better creature to have up there for sure. Okay, so we're looking to solve this problem and... I've looked at the wiki and apparently uh, Pelagornis are pretty good at this. Um, I actually, I feel like I knew that, but I don't think I've ever actually bothered getting a Pelagornis for like a bunch of organic polymers. So yeah, um, we're going to just check down here and see if we can find one. Usually they're around this area, but I don't know if we're going to find a high level one. We'll see. Um, Pelagornis, there we go. There's one over here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. They look like they're really small, but I know you can ride on them. I hardly ever really tame these things, though. They kind of suck, to be honest. I mean, they're pretty nice because you can actually fish on the back of them because they can land on water. They're like one of the only creatures that can land on the water, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, I don't think I ever really bothered too much with them. Um, By the way, you may have just seen that turtle over here. That's part of the Arc Editions mod. We'll check that out at some point. Oh, 174. Perfect. All right, let's see. Uh... We got to get it to come in from the water. Hello, what level are you? Level 60. Cool. Definitely tame one of those at some point. Um, so we're going to have to wait for this thing to fly inland a little. I guess if I had a if I had a rare flower, I could get it to come in. Hmm, maybe we can find one over here somewhere. I don't know. Or maybe I could just attack it out there and see if it will go in. It's this green one here. They're so tiny, yet you can ride on them. Man, that is so weird. If I kind of feel like they should be bigger if you can ride on them. That's honestly strange. Uh, all right, let's hit him from here and see if he'll go inland. Oh, almost uh, screwed that up. Right, let's see. Okay, go inland. Perfect. Keep going. Uh, we got to hit him again, I would say. Although we could probably just dismount and try to knock him out at this stage. Uh, bam. Nope, that was a miss. Okay, let's see. Miss again. I think we can, um... I feel like we can use a bowl on them, but I'm not sure if you can. Hey, we got him. Oh, is it already out? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, sweet. Damn, yeah, my rifle is, like, way too OP. All right, so it shouldn't take more than that amount of kibble. Um, and I'll bring you guys back once this thing is up. I don't have a saddle, though, so we'll have to go back to base with it first. Hey, we got it. Sweet. All right, let's see. Um, all right, stats don't look to be the worst. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get you into a cryopod for the moment. So we're going to need a name for our organic polymer slave. Maybe we'll just call it that. I don't know. Uh, let's get back to our base, though. We're super close. So it should only take like a second. Um, I wonder if I have a saddle already for one of these guys. I feel like I might. We can check our little saddle bin, but otherwise, I mean, a primitive one will work. I think eventually we'll probably check them out and try to make a really good mutated one, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's just get back to our little base and I could probably ride him in there just a little bit and then we can see what he does by himself. So here we go. Let's just load in our giant ridiculous base. Oh my God. I kind of almost regret making it so big because it's just such a strain to be here. But at the same time, it's really epic looking. <laughs> go ahead and leave you there. Um... So let's just wait for our item room to come in. There we go. Most of it's in. Sweet. <laughs> we just got to wait for these to come in. Hello. So Pelagornis. Pella. There we go. Sweet. So we actually have a few just uh, apprentice ones. I wonder if we have any saddle blueprints for them, actually. Let's go check. Pella. All right. We have a slightly better one. Whatever. Let, uh, let's go ahead and just check this out. Oh, I tried to grab that zip line. Oh, great. The glitch happened. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he's going to work out a little bit better. Once I figured out that I'd have to use a Pelagornis, I decided, hey, we might as well just set up, like, the next layer. So, we're probably not going to have any more uh, automatic farms up here. I don't know if he will anyway. I figure maybe it might be a good idea to have a sheep one. 
but I don't know if we will. Um, so we have like other creatures like snails and dung beetles, but those can all be put into one of these floors because we don't need a full floor for like seven or eight snails or whatever. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's see how good the Pelagornis is then. So he's already in my hot bar. Bam. And then saddle. It's so tiny though. It just doesn't look natural riding on the back one of these things. It's so weird. All right, let's see. How good is this thing? Doesn't do that much damage. It gathers a decent amount per, which is, that's a good sign. I don't know if it has like a different attack that does more. It doesn't seem like it does. Hmm. But this one definitely will attack them as babies, which is good for us. That's what we want. So I think in terms of levels, let's go straight into melee. It really only makes sense to have melee on them because, um, yeah, we're just going to need this thing to be constantly attacking and killing. So there we go. Um, let's see if we can, if we can manage to actually get some of these babies. Should start going for some of them. It's a little bit too fast. Hmm. Maybe encumbering it would be a good idea. I don't know. Actually, if we encumber it, then that's not going to be a good idea, actually, because if we were to encumber this thing, it's not going to be able to carry too much before it's going to get completely weighed down. Hmm. Although we do have a stack mod. I don't know. Let's just let it do its thing for a little while. I'm just going to go ahead and leave pork chop in here. Uh, we'll keep the moss chops in here because I made that moss chop specifically for having this farm. But obviously it's just not going to work out the way that we want it to. So if we ever need a crap ton of organic polymer, we can go ahead and actually just use uh, pork chop and, and just harvest them manually. But yeah, the, um, the Pelagorna should work. We're obviously just going to need to get it to... Hmm, maybe a good idea could be to just get it to eat a bunch of baby gigas to level it. That could be something. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave it for a little bit and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, so I left it for a good while and he didn't have this amount in him, but it had a good amount, just not enough. There's just a bunch of dead penguins that are just not getting harvested. So I think we're probably going to have to replace it with a saber. A saber apparently has five stars for efficiency as well. So I don't know. I just kind of wanted a bit of a like a variety up here you know we have a saber killing things on this floor and then the next floor we have like a pelagornis i don't know it's unfortunately just not going to work out as well though um let's see hop back on it i i actually also went ahead and uh and brought up some uh spino eggs and decided hey we're just gonna level the crap out of this thing because it was not killing the babies in one hit or two hits or even three hits sometimes so it's a lot better now um so it does 102 damage. I think it did like 60 to begin with or something. So not a huge amount of damage extra, but enough. So it takes like two hits usually. Um, just go ahead and eat through the rest of these. So we have a lot of organic polymer. Like, don't get me wrong. We have a huge amount of it, but I, I just feel like the Pelagornis is not the best creature for this. Uh, we're going to probably have to replace it with a saber. So we might just clone our saber down below. I could name it after my other cat, Nugget. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. Um, it's been a fun project. I like doing this type of stuff because it's just completely out of the norm. And obviously, this isn't really something that you could do too easily on official servers. But, um, I mean, if, if you, you, you could probably do it if you had a lot of penguins and you just kept all the eggs together and hatched them all at once. But it's just obviously not going to work out automatically. Uh, that's a good amount of polymer for just a few penguins there as well. So let's go ahead and check what's in the, uh, the saber down here. All right. Oh yeah. You got a ton of stuff for me. Sweet. All righty. Well, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can of course subscribe. This is the yield from today. We've done penguin mutations. We've done some crazy testing and it's worked out pretty well for us. I mean, look at that. Almost 14,000 on the organic polymer. So that's a huge amount. We're, we're not really going to need too much more than that, but we're going to keep gathering it for sure. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.